Gonorrhea is a major public health concern in the United States. More than one million new infections occur each year, but because many people don't have symptoms, fewer than half are detected and reported to CDC. Untreated gonorrhea can cause serious health problems. It can increase the risk of a life-threatening ectopic pregnancy, cause conditions that can lead to infertility, and increase a person's risk of getting or giving HIV. Medication to treat gonorrhea has been around for decades, but the bacteria has grown resistant to nearly every drug ever used to treat it. In the 1980s, resistance to penicillin and tetracycline grows, and they are no longer recommended to treat gonorrhea. Fluoroquinolones are the leading drugs to treat gonorrhea in the 1990s, but the bacteria was adapting to the drugs. CDC modifies treatment for much of the next decade to keep pace with resistance. In 2000, the drug is no longer recommended to treat people infected in Asia or the Pacific Islands. By 2002, this recommendation extends to California, and then in 2004, to men who have sex with men throughout the United States. By 2007, widespread fluoroquinolone resistance leaves only one class of antibiotics, cephalosporins, to treat the infection. In 2010, CDC recommends adding a second drug, either azithromycin or doxycycline, to the treatment regimen to protect cephalosporins from resistance. But just two years later, in 2012, CDC must update treatment recommendations again when data suggests the oral cephalosporin, cefixime, is becoming less effective at treating gonorrhea. As of 2020, CDC no longer recommends azithromycin due to emerging resistance that could threaten its ability to treat other common infections. Gonorrhea is becoming harder and harder to treat. Today, a single injection of the cephalosporin, ceftriaxone, is essentially all that stands between us and untreatable gonorrhea. Our last treatment option won't last forever. A difficult to treat strain of gonorrhea has been reported in the US and broader surveillance shows half of all infections are resistant to at least one antibiotic. The US hasn't seen a treatment failure with the recommended treatment, but drug resistance is rising and the pipeline for new drugs isn't keeping up. Prevention, testing, and effective treatment are needed now more than ever. We must keep drug-resistant gonorrhea as a leading priority. Learn more at cdc.gov slash std slash gonorrhea slash ARG.